So last week, Adobe rolled out a huge update for their entire Creative Cloud suite. Today, I wanna to talk about some of the new touch features they've added to programs like Photoshop and Illustrator. So let's start with Photoshop. Before in Photoshop, there were touch options and they made the interface larger in general to look good on tablets like the Surface Pro. But with this update, they're a little bit more granular. You can go in and adjust the size of the tabs and adjust the size of the fonts and things like that. Generally making Photoshop easier to use based on how you use it. They also added a whole bunch of new touch gestures. With two fingers, you can swipe backwards to do undo or forwards to redo. With three fingers, you can scrub through your history through multiple undos. And with five fingers, you can actually switch between Photoshop modes like full screen or part screen or whatever those are called. I do really like the idea of adding these kind of touch controls to the interface, but I ended up toggling them off myself. I used two fingers to move around my document quite a bit, and what I found is oftentimes I was uh, swiping to undo or redo accidentally. Another cool thing that they added were something called soft keys. This is the ability to use shift and control and putting those keys right on the screen for you. Before I used uh, a third party app to accomplish the same thing, but having it native in Photoshop is kind of a nice touch. Oddly enough, I think my favorite new feature in Photoshop is the opening screen. All it is really is a list of the most recently opened files that are really big and easy to tap right there uh, for me to use. Considering the first thing I do when I open Photoshop anyway is to go file recently opened documents, just putting them right there in front of me. Pretty cool. Hey, now on to Illustrator. Illustrator got a couple new touch workspace features. If you're not familiar with touch mode, it's right up here in the corner and uh, toggling it on makes it really easy to use on a tablet, bigger hit areas, uh, better tools, that sort of thing. It's been over a year since they introduced it and I haven't seen any updates to it until last week. So it's kind of cool to see that they're still updating it and thinking about it. One of the new tools they added is the shape recognition tool. This reminds me of a feature in the iPad app called paper where you draw a triangle or a circle or a square and it just uh, makes it a perfect shape for you so you don't have to be exact. Probably won't help me much in my illustration, but in my day job as a UX designer, I sometimes use uh, Illustrator for wireframes and being able to make quick shapes like that is kind of cool. Another thing that I really wanted in uh, the Illustrator touch space was layers. It's sometimes I feel like I'm the only Illustrator actually uses layers, but it'd still be handy. So if I do want to shift layers, I have to change my mode and go out. And it's kind of like using two separate apps and constantly switching between the two just to use it. The quick and easy fix here would be to allow users to customize the touch interface like they customize all the other interfaces. Letting me add my own tools to the touch interface and take out the tools that I don't use would be incredibly helpful. So that's a quick uh, touch roundup. I think I got most of the things. If I did miss something, let me know in the comments or if there's a feature that you think would be worth covering, I'd like to hear about that too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in a few days.